everyone, today's video is going to be a new idea that I'm hoping to continue on my channel. It's called Top 5 Wednesday and it was created by Lainey at Ginger Reads Lainey. So I'll leave a link to her channel in the description below. And it's basically that every Wednesday there's a new topic to talk about and you do your top five on that topic. So I'm really excited to start up this project. I think it's a really, really good idea. And I'll leave all the information for this whole project thing tag in the description box below if you want to check it out. Today's topic is things that are on your bookshelf that aren't books. So I'm just going to jump right in. None of these are in any kind of order. I just picked up different things that looked interesting and I'm going to talk about them. So let's get started. The first item or two items is these two objects. So the first one is an elephant made out of marble and it has inlaid little gemstones and I think it's just beautiful. I got this object and this wooden carved camel from India and I think these two objects are just absolutely beautiful. They just remind me of my holiday to India which was quite a while ago, I think two or three years ago now. but. I just really, really love that holiday. It was such a new and interesting experience and these two objects just remind me of that experience and they're just absolutely beautiful. They're worth all the money I paid for. Um, I just want to point out that yes, this is marble. It's not elephant tusk or anything like that. I wouldn't want to support those trades. So yes, it is marble and it's just beautiful. The second object is this little owl that my friend made out of fabric and buttons and some other things and she gave it to me as a Christmas present and it just reminds me of my friends from my old school because I've moved schools now so I don't go to school with my old friends. It just reminds me of them, it reminds me of the holidays, it reminds me of Christmas, it just reminds me of her and I just love this. It's so adorable and so cute. The next object is more of a corner and this is my Bulgarian corner that's right behind me here. So as you can see, I've got kind of a variety of different Bulgarian things. If you didn't know, I'm full Bulgarian, so my heritage is just Bulgarian. There's nothing else mixed in there. I can speak Bulgarian. And this just reminds me of my heritage. So we've got a doll in the traditional girl's dress, or just an interpretation of the traditional girl's dress. There's a little blanket thing that um, is also Bulgarian. There's some rose perfume which if you didn't know it's one of Bulgaria's main exports they create rose perfume they make so much rose perfume and then the last one is a little Martinitsa which just reminds me of the holidays Baba Marta so yeah the fourth object is this little cat and it's in this case thinger little jar and it was made by my friend out of clay and it was made for my first birthday that I had with her so that was my not this birthday but last year's birthday and I just love it because first of all it reminds me of my friends that I go to school with now and second of all it reminds me of cats because I love cats cats are amazing and they're just my favorite animal I also have a cat as you can see now and I just love this, it's so adorable and I keep it in its little container case thing because I think it's just such a beautiful idea to put feathers around it so I love this present. The last thing that I'm going to talk about is this little dog toy. Even though I said cats are my favourite animals, I just love this dog toy because I think it was my first toy or one of my first toys when I was growing up as a baby and I just love it. It's still so beautiful, it's so comfortable to just hug and I just love it, it's so cute and just reminds me of my childhood and it has this little red line down its belly because when I was a child I used to play pretend surgeries on all my dolls I know I had a weird childhood I did some weird things to my toys and I used to pretend that they had a broken leg or they needed a surgery and then I was the doctor or the surgeon to just fix them up and I think that's where my love for medicine and like science and surgery stuff came from because I just every time that I would play with my toys I wouldn't dress them up to go to parties I would put, make sure or well, I would make them 
get injured or something and then I would be the surgeon to put them back together so yeah just a weird little story of my childhood yeah th so this is just a toy it reminds me of my childhood I love it so those were the top five things on my bookshelf that aren't books as you can see my bookshelf is right behind me and I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was just a quick little video I hope to put out more of these because I find they're really interesting and they're just great idea so I'm going to be trying to continue on with this series I don't know if I'm going to be able to do every Wednesday and put out videos every Wednesday but I'm going to try I'm going to try and do this because it's such a great idea there's so many different topics that I can talk about and so I'm really excited so I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you guys in my next video bye mm -hmm.